You are a Ganya Guam where hope knows no barriers. Hi friends and fellow DXers. Welcome to your favorite program DXS Diary. A 5 minute weekly DX digest for DXers and short wave radio hobbies. Sunday in 15205 kilohertz in the 19 meter band from 1500 hours coordinated universal time through transmitters of KTWR in Aganya, Guam. This show has been designed in such a way that it would be useful for all listeners across the world. We have split this program into three sections. In the first part, we will provide you information about sunspot number, as a forecast, yay. In the second, you will listen to the history of radio stations across the world. And in the last part, we have the listeners log section. In the first part of this show, we will provide you with details about sunspot number, SFI forecast and gay index. The sunspot number this week is 39, SFI forecast is 98 and gay index is 8. Every country and radio station in their area will have a history to narrate. Every week, we bring you the history of these radio stations by searching various websites and we are thankful to those who have developed this content. This week, we broadcast information about the history of radio stations in Indonesia. As for the information available online, Indonesia is an archipelago that lies across the equator and can be grouped into the greater Sunda Islands of Sumatra, Java, the southern extent of Borneo and Celebes, the lesser Sunda Islands of Bali and the chain of islands that run eastward through Timor the Moluccas between Celebes and the island of New Guinea, the western extent of New Guinea. The history of radio stations in the archipelago can be traced to the pre-independence period, even though the official Indonesian state-owned broadcaster Radio Republic Indonesia, RRI, was launched after the declaration of independence in 1945. RRI had a monopoly in The website says that the radio station is the only one that bears the name of a country whose broadcasts are intended for the benefit of nation and the state. RRI has a strength of 62 broadcasting stations including overseas broadcasting. Let's now move on to the radio news section. According to a news item on Red Tech website, Funklust, a German digital radio mondial shortwave station that began broadcasting in 2003, has resumed its broadcast recently again. Funklust is the radio station of students of Fred Rich Alexander Universität Erlangen Nuremberg in Germany. The station is a partnership between the university and the nearby Fraunhofer Institute for Integrated Circuits. Friedrich Alexander Universität describes itself as one of the largest research universities in Germany, while Fraunhofer builds itself as Europe's largest application-oriented research organization. The antenna tower includes Funklust's DRM shortwave antenna. Students produced a program content on Fraunhofer and is the technical side of Funklust. Programming is mostly non-stop music, but it does carry a few external programs such as Radio Gathe. The station was originally on the air as Byte Express in 2003 and switched to Funklust several years later. Fraunhofer recently updated the station's equipment and Funklust to return to shortwave in October 2021 after going off air in 2018. The original transmitter was a 1000 watt Telefunken S2525 DRM capable transmitter. Fraunhofer replaced it with a new RF Mondial 250 watt transmitter which feeds the signal into a vertical Lambda 4 monopole antenna mounted on a concrete mast at a height of 58 meters. Friends, we have come to the end of the program now. I request you to send your listeners logs, band scans, reception reports, views and opinion about the program to dxsdiary at gmail.com. Please keep encouraging us by sending your reception reports regularly and we will acknowledge your reception reports with a QSL or eQSL as early as possible. Until next week, this is your friend Arun Kumar Nasiman signing off 73. Bye-bye.